So Lizzie and Eli Hennebury, uh, we're both in our 30s and I work in marketing, run my own business and Eli works for the tech, he's um, employed. Yeah, we've been investing through Investor Property for the, since 2019. Um, we found out about Investor Property uh, through um, a, a mutual connection. They recommended we go and have a chat to Mal. And we um, were partway through renovating our house at the time. We thought, oh yeah, it's worth a chat. We'll see what can happen in the future. But then all of a sudden, now we have two investment properties and you just never look back. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we, we uh, had the, our two investment properties were built through Investor Property and they're both renting out they've been rented solid for since they were built mm, and <laughs> we have one in aura in caloundra and another one in maruchidor in the cbd the experience was very easy it was um a, a very fluent exercise and they nothing was a problem mm. so so pretty much they took care of everything from the initial strategy where it was scribbled out on a piece of paper at first because it was just like oh what can we do and how does this work and Mal was like actually it's kind of like this and he just started drawing and we're like well that makes a ton of sense <laughs> but then it was followed up with tons of reports and extra data and insights and we thought oh we were so excited but at the same time we thought oh let's not get too ahead of ourselves should we run this by our accountant should we run it by um, our financial advisors so we did do that and um, they both said yeah look this sounds good but you know, erring on the side of caution or a little bit more conservative. They're like, look, it sounds good, but, you know, it may not be as good as they predicted. Um, but then do you remember we went to do our tax returns the following year after we had the first lot of tenants through and the accountant was like so excited and I'm not really a numbers person. He's like, oh my gosh, it was so much better than that report said. You can't, I can't wait to process your tax returns. <laughs> so we're like, cool. <laughs> So we worked with our own accountant um, and he just worked in with the investor property guys. And so um, we, we had a, he had everything he needed from like depreciation reports and, um, and forward planning of the numbers. So he knew what to expect and had all the information he needed to, to make things work with our tax returns. Um, and then with the guys at investor property obviously did the strategy, prepped everything. And then they did a, a property management as well. So then all those reports just go over to our accountant and they do all the numbers stuff. To, to start that ball rolling with funding the investor investment properties, um, we used equity in the home that we already had. Uh, it, it was actually a lot sooner than we thought we could do things because we were halfway through renovating. We thought, oh yeah, we'll, we'll look at you know things for the future. But we actually already held equity in the property before even completing our renovations. So when we thought we had to wait, we didn't. So we started sooner and we got in the market sooner. And so we, um, I, Using equity was something completely new to me, but Mal and the team kind of walked us through all of that. And they also spoke with our um, mortgage broker as well. So they kind of connected all the dots for us and all the people that we needed to talk to. And then, um, yeah, unlocked some equity in our own home, purchased um, one property. And I think we also used um, a deposit bond for another piece. So we didn't have to come up with all the cash right away, which is one of the things we thought like that we'd have to do. We thought, oh no, we we're not ready yet. We haven't even finished our renovations. We haven't got extra cash because we're putting that into the renovations, but it turns out we didn't need to do that. There was all this other, um, you know, all these other ways that we could access money and build our um, financial you know, plan that just was completely new to me, but it just made so much sense once they explained it all. When we purchased the properties, we'd signed for them um, at relatively the same time. One of them is, um, you know, house and land, dual key in Aura, and that was built quite quickly and was tenanted very quickly. And then at the same time, we also had um, an off the plan unit um, that we had signed up for. And then the strategy was always that the unit would be negatively geared or wasn't as cash positive, but the other property would top this one up. Um, when it came to rents, so we didn't have to put money in. And then come tax time, it all kind of washed out and they were all positively geared. But in the meantime, we didn't have to be putting money in. But then as things have shifted and adjusted with interest rates and rents, everything's kind of grown and adjusted. Um, but then when we've had to have conversations around, is it time to move one property on and look at another? The guys have always been there to, to talk to us through that whole process. I think like reflecting back on that whole journey, we realized we could do so much more than we originally thought, a lot sooner than we thought. And I guess my initial thoughts in property investing was like, I'm going to need a lot of money and it's going to be stressful. And I always kind of put it in the too hard basket. But then when we were recommended to have a chat to Mal, we just thought, yeah, we'll just have a chat. But then he explained so much to us so easily and it just clicked and we're like, well, 
we don't need to wait then. He told, explained that we could do financing without having cash in the bank. He explained that we could set things in place now and, and off the plan. We even looked at that where previously I thought, oh, I don't know, like it doesn't even exist yet. Is that a good idea? But everything that he said has come to fruition and it was so much easier than I thought. So, you know, for any friend that I'm telling about this, like just have the conversation, listen to the information because it makes sense and you can do it. And if you wait, you just you're going to miss out. Like already we've had incredible growth in the value of our properties and it just, I don't see it um, finishing up anytime soon. Looked solidly before speaking to investor property, but I had always thought that property would be something good to invest in, but I didn't have any clue how to do it, what was a good property. I knew personally what I would like to live in, but I didn't think, and I've since learned that's not the case of when you shouldn't use those same qualifications for what you want to buy for yourself is not necessarily what you should buy for an investment. And so I always thought that would be a great idea, but we hadn't looked solidly at it. And then I'm so glad that I didn't go do it myself because there was so much um, that these guys just took care of for us because I wouldn't want to do it all on my own. The Sunshine Coast is such a great place to live. Uh, it's where people want to be. It's fantastic. You can see the growth every day. Um, it's constantly getting busier and busier. Uh, people want to live here. So uh, it just makes sense to invest in a, an area where people want to be. Mm. Our long-term goal is to have a, a portfolio to uh, retire on. Mm. So. And I think like working in my own business and Eli previously having his own business before being an employee, um, our superannuation funds are a little bit iffy and we don't really want to rely on them for our retirement. We would rather have an, an improper investment strategy and property, something a bit more solid to actually be able to plan for and fund our retirement and hopefully do it sooner than, um, than general retirement age, do it when we're ready. Before 60. Yeah. It would be uh, good to get there before 60. According to all the calculations, we can do it. <laughs> The team at Investor Property have been amazing to deal with from the very first conversation all the way through to where we are now. They're fantastic. Yeah. Uh, easy to talk to. Um, nothing's a problem. Mm. And yeah, they just, uh, if there's an issue, they find solutions. Mm. And I think, um, you know, if we've ever had questions along the way, it wasn't just, you know, let's do your strategy, let's sell you some properties and never hear from them again. It's certainly not the case. Like we've had questions throughout where there's been, you know, there's been COVID and there's been interest rate rises and there's been all sorts of things happening in the world. And we're like, do, do we have a problem? Is everything okay? And they'd explain super easily to us, you know, not to panic and not get swept up in media headlines that the strategy is in place and to hold strong. And we've seen incredible growth by listening to what they've said to us and, you know, everything from, you know, changing, switching over tenants, um, refinancing to get better interest rates and even looking at, selling properties and purchasing others. They've talked to us about all those things throughout. So they're always there to pick up the phone. <laughs> we recommend them all the time. Yeah, uh, we've, yeah, we've recommended tons of friends and family. So yeah, I think my sister and her partner are now investing in multiple properties with friends across the country, not just people on the coast here, but people all around um, who, you know, just been watching what we're doing going, how did you guys get into that? And how are those properties going? And as we start to tell them everything that we've, we've done, they're like, well, should we do it? I'm like, absolutely. So we've passed them on and I'm sure you'll get nothing but rave reviews from them as well. <laughs>